Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During March 2021, Russia has unveiled the first prototype of Sukhoi single engine stealth fighter jet called Checkmate. It is reported to feature latest systems including its open architecture configuration to meet the customer's requirement and unique artificial intelligence technologies. Checkmate is reported to have fifth generation fighter jet capability with advanced stealth feature. The frontal section of the fighter jet closely resembles Boeing X-32 concept, though America did not go ahead with this concept and chose Lockheed Martin's X-35 which is now known as F-35. The air intake in Checkmate has been placed below the main body. The backside of the airframe also has similarity with American stealth fighter jet YF-23 concept which was designed by Northrop Grumman. Though America did not go ahead again with YF-23 program and chose F-22 Raptor, however, the former was much stealthier and faster than F-22. Now coming back to the Russian checkmate, it is going to be powered by a single engine. It's reported to use new Isdalia 30 being developed for Su-57. This engine is capable of generating thrust of 176.6 kN with afterburner. This is almost twice the thrust generated by G414 engine which will be used in LCA Mark II. The new Russian fighter jet will also have super maneuverability and improved takeoff and landing performance due to thrust vectoring control nozzle in Isdalia 30 engines. The Checkmate will have maximum speed of Mach 1.8 with an operational range of 3000 km. Checkmate derives many of its features from Su-57 and is a result of typical Russian design philosophy where fighter jets are designed for faster speed and maneuverability. Now, talking about its payload, it's going to have maximum takeoff weight of 18,000 kilograms and can fly at a maximum altitude of 54,000 feet. It can carry total 8,000 kilograms of weapons payload and for stealthy missions, it can carry four missiles in its internal weapons bay. Russia has planned to integrate R-73 and R-77 air to missiles with the fighter jet. It will also be integrated with anti-ship missiles, which makes it a truly multi-role fighter aircraft. Now, Russia is projecting this fighter jet in competition with F-35, however, at much lower price. It is planned to sell the fighter jet just at $30 million, which is much lesser than F-35 and Rafales. Russia has planned a pilot batch of Checkmate fighter jets to be produced by 2026. However, this timeline seems to be unrealistic in the lights of ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. Now recently, that is on 7th February, the Russian news agency TASS has reported that Russian delegation attending the Aero India 2023 air show has planned to discuss potential cooperation with India in creating fifth generation aircraft, in particular the Checkmate light tactical fighter jet. However, the biggest question is should India invest in Checkmate when it is developing a much potent LCM Mark II with similar capabilities? Financially, it will be unviable for Indian Air Force which is already eyeing three big procurements which includes LCM Mark II, MRFA and AMCA. Earlier, India did participate in the fifth generation fighter jet program called FGFA with Russia. However, India withdrew from the program over the issues such as knowledge transfer and development timeline. It is quite obvious that no country will share the complete state of our technologies no matter what's the price one is willing to pay. If India has to become self-reliant in fighter jet development, it must follow the indigenous route with more orders of LCA Mark 1A, Mark 2 and AMCA. However, as a stopgap arrangement, all India can afford is two more squadrons of Rafale. But any further delay is going to further negate 
the need of even rafals as more potent indigenous fighter jets are soon to take off this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector